wooden floors creak around me, and the windows rattle ever so slightly. As I sit in this guest bedroom, inside of a house of friends that has been transformed into a home for me. I'd have found myself in Tennessee streets had they not stepped in. Matthew and Brittany, family and friends. And amidst the turmoil that this year has been, as my fears have come to life and others have creeped in, I must rest God's will again. Don't get me wrong, I'm in no way healed, but despite what I feel, I know that I'm whole. But whole doesn't mean hurtless, because I have felt worthless and devalued and unloved. But despite the pain and the rain and the absence and the stains, despite every single word spoken in vain, God has remained has provided. Maybe not what I want, but what I've needed. And though this all feels forcefully heated, it is enough. So here I stand, rebuilding anew, repurposing this rubble and focusing beyond view, even when these memories produce pain, to always be open to change. I remain in a process where broken memories are being reformed into sonnets, but it is a process. And if I'm honest, it's still not easy. But often the things worth having are not. And as these growing pains persist, I am learning with closed fists to let go and sit. Inhaling reflection and exhaling blessings. This time is a lesson to trust in redemption. So, thank you. Thank you, Newtons, for opening a place to process, to build, to breathe, to be, and asking nothing more of me. In your reflections, I see the one who defeated the lynching tree. part of your life. Uh, surround yourself with, with God-loving people.